Hi there, Jonathan here. Welcome to the first help video for the shelved configurator. In this video, we will be looking at the basics for the framework. This is the first screen you will see upon opening the configurator. In the top left hand corner, we have a home button. This will return you to the shelved website. In the bottom left hand corner, we have our pricing. This will update as you build your design. In the bottom right hand corner, we have saved draft. This allows you to save your design at any point during the build and you can return to it later. To start building, we need to click the add an element button at the bottom of the screen. This will then present our initial building blocks that we can use on the right hand side. We will be starting this build with the 40 centimeter building blocks. Clicking on our first building block will generate a preview in the build window as to where that block can be placed. To place the block, we simply click on the preview. Once our first block is placed, we are presented with other opportunities to place that same block. We will place one to the right hand side of our first block. As we select other 40cm building blocks, we are presented with new previews where they can be placed. As you can see, we can now stack those blocks on our original blocks to build taller configurations. A useful feature to be aware of is the undo button located on the left hand side of the screen. This will undo the last action performed. You can also redo that action with the button above. We'll now move on to our 80 centimeter building blocks. As before, we need to click the add an element button to get started. This will present our building blocks on the right hand side of the screen and we will choose an 80 centimeter block and click to preview and then click to place that on the screen. We can then choose our second building block, click to preview and click to place. With some of the building blocks, there is a show all button located on the right hand side of the menu. Clicking that button will present all of the different designs available at that width. As you can see, there are various designs. We shall choose one and place it on top of our original blocks. There is then a back button at the top of that window that will return you to the main building block page. We'll now move on to the 120 centimeter building blocks. As before, click add an element to present our building block window. Choose a 120 centimeter building block, click to preview, and then click to place. We can then choose our second building block, click to preview, and click to place. If we go to the show all button, we can see the other designs available at that width. Select one, click to preview and then click to place. As you can see with the 120cm building blocks, we're able to create more interesting configurations with different size apertures. Lastly, we will move on to our 160cm building blocks. Once again, click add an element. This time we will move across to show all, select our initial building block, click to preview and then click to place. With our 120cm and 160cm building blocks, we are presented with TV spaces once they are placed. Clicking a TV space will allow you to place that above your original blocks. You can then choose other building blocks of the same width and stack them upon the TV space to create bridged shelving zones. We'll now move on and design a TV unit applying what we've just learned. As before, click add an element to get started. We'll choose a 40 centimeter building block to start, click to preview and click to place. We'll then choose our second block and place that above the original. We're then going to place an 80 centimeter cube next to this, click to preview and then click to place. And again, we will stack an 80 centimeter cube upon that one. and we'll have a third as well. We'll then create our bridge TV space. We'll choose our 160 centimeter block. Here we're going for two 80 centimeter cubes that sit next to each other. We'll click to preview and then click to place. If we press the back button and go up to our menu, you'll see there we have the 160 centimeter TV spaces. We're going for a 160 by 120 space here. 
and we will click another 160 centimeter block and place that on top of our TV space to create our bridged shelving. Finally, we'll finish the design with some 120 centimeter blocks. Here we'll go for three 40 centimeter cubes and we will stack some alternate designs in that section. We'll go to show all and finally choose another design of the block. That's our framework finished for now. In video two, we will look at populating our framework with accessories. Before we finish, I will show you some useful features within the configurator. On the left hand side of the screen, we have a set of icons. This icon is show measurements. This will show you the dimensions of your framework. The button below allows you to view your product in full screen. And the button below that is reset camera, which will center your design in the view window. As we discussed at the beginning of the video, in the bottom right hand corner, we have save draft. Clicking this button will open a save draft window. Here you can enter your email address and click the agree terms button and then the save button. And this will email you a URL link to come back to your design. You can also copy the URL created at this stage. Thank you very much for watching. Join me in video two where we will complete this design with accessories.